Hello, Jonathan. Hello. Uh, uh, will you just start uh, you the just presentation start, uh, or we will wait for an, uh, one more minute? I can go ahead and just start. Okay. Is everybody in the room now? Okay, then uh, let's welcome Jonathan Yen. Yuan, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Lasher. Lasher. Okay, so I'll start sharing. So hello everyone. As you already know, my name is Jonathan and today I'm going to be presenting about homeschool. So has anyone ever heard of homeschool and do you know what it is? Also, I'm not that good at reading Chinese, so if you have any questions or comments, just speak up. Uh, I'll take it that no one knows what it is. So basically homeschool is a school set up at home and the word homeschool can be used as both a verb and a noun. And I made this sentence that homeschool is the best is the word homeschool in this sentence a uh, noun or a verb. Uh, Stephen, do you know? Mm. No. No. Yeah, it is a noun. And also, if when you have it at a ER or ING at the end of the word, you can change the meaning. Homeschooler means a person who is being homeschooled, and while homeschooling means the practice of homeschool. Now, let's try to make some sentences using the word homeschool. Does anyone want to try or I will call on someone if no one speaks up? Emmy, do you want to try? Um, just say any sentence with homeschool. Homeschool, homeschooling, homeschooler, and all three are fine. Um, I've never been homeschooled. Yeah, that works. Anyone else? Sophie, Anne? Anyone? Sophie, how about you give it a try? Uh, I'm uh, um, confused um, about what is homeschooling. 
Could you say that again? Uh, I'm confused that what does homeschool mean? That also work. Are you are you saying that you're confused about homeschool or yes. is that the sentence? Yes. It's not a sentence. It's not a Okay. Uh, I think I'll give you a bit more information on homeschool and then we can try this again later. Sound, oh, sound okay, everyone? Okay. All right, so advantages of homeschool. And I, I does anyone know what advantage means? Julia, do you want to give it a shot? Julia, um, what did you say? Do you know what advantage means? Like benefits? Like benefits? Yeah. Advantage basically means it's a favorable situation or any state circumstance or opportunity that's especially favorable for something that you desire. So some advantages of homeschool are self-paced, which means you can choose the pace at which you learn. Uh, you can also learn what you want to learn, you can pick and choose. You don't need to stick to one tutor or program. So like if one tutor you don't is like really bad, you can change to another one. Also, your parents are your primary teachers. So if your parents are really gracious or really nice, then you have really good teachers. And Next is the disadvantages of homeschool. Does anyone know what disadvantage means? Also, if I need to slow down, just tell me to slow down. Yeah, it's basically the opposite of advantage. So some, some disadvantages of homeschool are that your parents are your primary teachers. So like if speaking from experience, if they're having a bad day, um, you just have to deal with it because your parent, you can't really do anything about it. And also you have less interactions with people in general and also especially people of your age since it's not, they don't have like the five day, I don't know the Taiwan requirements, but here it's a usually five day requirement. So they don't have it, you don't have the five day requirement, so you have less than interaction basically. Uh, was there any advantage or disadvantage you particular, particularly liked or disliked? Anyone? Hi, I don't have an answer to that question, but I just wanted to ask, do you still get like, still get, like, like what? summer or break? Um, yes, you do get all the breaks in there. Okay, so I think I'll talk about this now since it will clarify things up. So there are, in at least in California, where I live, there are three main types of homeschool. The charter school, 
which is basically operated like a privately owned school, but receives fund funding from the state. Private school advit, PSA, where your parents fill out a form to get approved. And then if they're approved, they can homeschool you, but you have to use your own money or own funds and independent study in which a teacher manages the child's education. So in the PSA, you'd more or less be on your own, but you still have to get education. The charter school, which is the program I'm in now, does follows all the holidays in America. So like we have Independence Day, uh, George Washington Day, um, President's Day, and just a bunch of dip, like summer break, uh, spring break, and winter break. There are, you can also choose to have like programs for the different, for all the, for during winter breaks and all the breaks, but at least in charter, and also in independent study, you follow the breaks for the, like everyone else, basically. Does anyone else have any questions? Um, do you guys have like midterms or finals? That would depend on the program. If you're like, I have some programs which just basically operate like one entire school year. There's no midterm or final. And some programs do have midterm and final. So it really just depends. Any other questions? Okay, this might be a really stupid question, but what made you choose homeschool? Uh, well, back in second grade, I got a really bad teacher. So I had a dislike for teachers, basically. So I switched to homeschool. Uh, well, public school teachers or traditional, whatever you call them, but yeah. Any others? If not, we can actually I want to take a poll. If in the chat, if you type one, if you in in a situation like if you could choose, would you prefer homeschooling or a traditional setting? If you prefer homeschool type one, traditional setting type two. Does anyone want to explain why they chose traditional? Because I feel like I'm, I probably need like friends or something to like learn beside me or else I can't be really productive on my own. Yeah, that does make sense. I mean, there are a few programs in which there, you there are like students together learning but it's just just like you get to pick and choose the courses 
uh, yeah, overall, there is quite a bit of a difference in people interaction. Uh, so right now we have two choices. I have a small grammar game we can play, or we can just end the meeting right now. So which one do you guys want? Okay, we have two games, three. Anyone else? Four games. All right, then. So the game is basically fill in the blank. So for example, there are many blank of homeschooling. One of them is that I can set my own schedule. So basically you can choose between advantages or disadvantages. And it's basically multiple choice. You can either speak or type it in the chat. That's correct. A, there are many advantages of homeschooling. The next one is, hello everyone, my name is basically your name, and I am a homeschool, homeschooling, or homeschooler. That's correct. C, homeschool. Okay, last two questions. One blank of homeschooling is less opportunity to meet other students at the same age. A, advantage, B, disadvantage. Yes. The correct answer is B, disadvantage. And the last question is, was in what I talked about. There are blank types of homeschooling, 10, three, or infinite, at least in California. Yeah, the correct answer is B, there are three main types of homeschool. And that about wraps it up. So do you all want to stay and chat or end the meeting? Do you have any questions to ask Jonathan? Uh, Jonathan, may I ask a question? Okay. Okay. So, uh, sure. how long so, uh, were you, were you, the homeschooler? I mean, can you just, if you want to go back to a traditional school, I mean, can you stop it or, uh, you have to apply? Uh, well. In, I know around like in California, the law is that you have, there's mandatory school until like after high school, I think, or after middle school. So you can, at any time, you can just go back to the traditional setting. But like, there are some schools like 
the area that you i know that the area that you live in you have the it's you get the schools but you have to apply for the others if you want to apply for schools out of your area so i'd say the same principles probably apply for if you want to go back to a traditional setting but if it's in your area you can go back at any time Okay, thank you. And uh, how many percentage of students choose uh, homeschooling? Uh, I think 20%, if I remember correctly. 20%? That's a lot. <laughs> at Because least from, in... From... Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I think it's 20% of Americans. Yeah, because of COVID, like everything's online now. It's kind of basically everybody's homeschooling, unless you count the people who still go to pop, the regular school, but yeah. Okay, thank you for your sharing and uh, uh... 同学们有任何的问题吗？好，没有的话，呃、uh, ，then let's thank、uh, Jonathan today's sharing and、uh, okay. Then Jonathan, I think I think you can leave the room. Then I'll I'll chat with the students. Okay. Thanks for okay, having thank me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.